Projection mapping is a new and complex medium with a lot of moving parts. But understanding all of those moving parts can be a challenge. That's why we at Chicago Projection Mapping have put together our own formula for comprehensively understanding any projection mapping display. We call it C-P-S-M-A. By analyzing projection mapping through five parameters, you can comfortably cover most of the variables that will go into all but the most complex mapping. These categories are content, the visuals that are projected, projection hardware, the equipment that is doing the projection, surface, the physical space projected onto, mapping, the technical aspects of conforming and operating the projection on the surface, and audio, the music and sound designed in sync with the visuals. Or in a nutshell, the content is projected onto the surface then mapped to fit perfectly in sync with audio. Let's go further into each category. Content. While any kind of visual content can be used in a projection mapping display, custom design content that takes into account the surface and projection hardware makes for the most impactive mapping. The inherent difficulty of mapping content comes as a factor of the complexity of the surface and the level of detail required in the animation. Projection Hardware There's more to 3D projection mapping than bright projectors. Powerful projectors require special electrical and power considerations, truss and scaffolding to correctly place the projector, and clean video signals run from your content server. All of the elements that directly affect the projectors are considered part of projection hardware. Surface While almost any object or building can be designed to work with projection mapping, projection mapping works best on white, matte, non-reflective surfaces. Darker and colored surfaces prove more challenging and need brighter projection hardware, while black, dark gray, and glass surfaces do not work with projection mapping unless specially customized. Mapping. All costs for content servers and interactivity are included as a part of the mapping category. At Chicago Projection Mapping, this will include human capital, such as on-site mapping, project management, and travel as well audio. While not essential to projection mapping, we at CPM highly encourage using audio whenever possible to heighten the impact of a mapping illusion. The visual of a crumbling building is made much more powerful with the reverberating shake of breaking stones. For the additional cost that these elements introduce, we keep a separate category devoted just to audio considerations. But this is only scratching the surface of projection mapping. To learn more, email us at info at chicagoprojectionmapping.com or call our office line at 630-620-0000 to speak to one of our team members about bringing projection mapping to your next event or display. Thanks for watching.